Hello everyone, it is Fox and welcome to more random openings, the video where I open random cards, toys, or whatever the hell I happen to find. Today I'm going to be opening something I've really wanted for a while. I'm happy I found it at a flea market. You know, you guys know how much I love flea markets. And it's just really cool for me to have this. It is the Dungeons and Dragons role-playing game dice with a dice bag. Look at that art. That is some awesome art. Kind of looks like Snooky a little bit. Oh wait, from here it makes her lips look a lot bigger than they are. So uh, yeah, I have uh, found this at a flea market for four bucks. Awesome. Um, I've always wanted one just for the bag. Uh, the dice are awesome too. Uh, yeah, and you bet you didn't know, old Foxy knows a thing or two about dice. Um, so yeah, gonna be opening it, see what's inside. I don't know if the color is the same. Uh, it could be a different color, but we'll see. Yeah, I love dice. I have way too many, and I'll show you in a minute my uh, dice bag. All right, throw it on the floor. It's a little jacked up, but every, it was the plastic was sealed, so everything's inside. All right, let's see if we can get it out. Let me get this out. All right, here is the bag. Is there anything else that we need to get? Nope, we'll take a look at the box, though. You get, let's see, you get one four-sided, four six-sided, so basically, like, damage counters. One eight-sided, one ten-sided, a twelve-sided, and a D20. All right, and here's the bag. Nice little small, kind of dirty bag in all its glory. Look at that. Wow, that's going to bug me that it's dirty, but whatever. Still pretty cool. All right, so let's take it out there. Oh, here we go. Little bag. No paperwork. You don't need paper. Who, who the hell needs paperwork? So the dice are the same color as they are advertised. So let's open it up and take a look. I know it's not super exciting, but it is kind of exciting for me because I've looked a while for these. They're pretty hard to find, honestly, without going online. Okay. Well, I, I don't actually play Dungeons & Dragons. I have played Pathfinder with a few friends. I'm not really that good at it, but I know for the most part how to do it. Alright, so here we go. We got our dice. Here's our D20. Our non-countdown D20. Um, something you guys should know is the Magic the Gathering D20s, a lot of role players don't actually like using them for... I'm actually show you right here. I might as well show you this too. This is my dice bag. <laughs> I have quite a few and the reason I have it in this is because it fits in my book bag's uh, drink holder and I'm just able to kind of take it out and all that. Look at all these dice. Look, look at all these fucking things. These are awesome. These green ones. These damage counters. I got a regional for Pokemon. Here's a Magic D20 and I'll show you why they don't like using them. So put a focus a little more. Here we go. This is a Theros one. Uh, the reason they don't like using the Magic D20s is as their countdown die. They're not technically roller dies, um, but they are countdown dies. What I mean by that is this is 20, and it goes 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, so on. And this one, it doesn't do that. Uh, it goes 20, and then 19 is, I believe, on this side right here. 19, and then you see it's completely random. Uh, all the bigger numbers are on one side in this one, and so are the smaller numbers, and this one is just, it's completely random, so... Well, in this case, I got a 1. <laughs> in this case, I would get a 8 or something. Although, they are technically still roller die, and people do use them as rollers. Um, they're not completely one-sided. I honestly don't care when it comes to that stuff, uh, but a lot of hardcore pl role players do. So that's why they don't like using them. But yeah, awesome D20. I love, I love the texture on this. It's blue. It's blue with silver, so you can see the numbers perfectly. A lot of the times, Magic, they put the numbers on really hard-to-see colors. This one's a Simic die but uh it's kind of hard to see the numbers but yeah with these you do here's our four d6s with clear numbers on them instead of uh classic dots they roll real nicely we have a d12 i believe yeah d12 a d10 which looks like a dreidel i don't know if anyone's jewish but dreidel 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 they really fucking suck and a D3, uh, sorry, D4, which is a triangle, which is very sharp. And our D8, which is a diamond. There's also a D100, but that's a piece of crap. I don't, I really don't like the D100. So yeah, just a completely random video I wanted to show you guys. I uh, was really happy to pick it up. I thought people who do like dice like I do would be excited about it. And um, yeah, that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later with more exciting videos. Take, let's take one more big-ass look at this side. Look, look, look at this. Ah. Oh. One of my counters fell. Look, 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 at, look at the obsession. Look at the obsession of this. Here's one just like a decent. There's more in there, actually. I actually even have more dice somewhere else. I just have doubles.
That's all. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later with more videos. Bye now.